Cristiano Ronaldo. You can love him or hate him, but you can never ignore him. When Ronaldo left the European League and came over to Saudi Arabia this year, many critics had written him off. They were calling him a washout star on the last stages of his career. But it looks like Ronaldo still has fresh legs. He hasn't left his shooting boots behind in Europe just yet. Last night, Ronaldo scored twice for his team Al Nasser. His double helped Al Nasser beat Al Etihad 5-2 in the Saudi Premier League. Now Ronaldo has become the leading goal scorer in the world for 2023. The Portuguese striker has 53 goals this year alone from 54 appearances and has one game still left. He's trailed by Bayern Munich's Harry Kane and PSG's Kylian Mbappe. They both have 52 goals but won't be playing any more matches this year. Then there is Manchester City's, of course, Hurling Holland at 51 goals with two games left this year. If anyone can snatch Ronaldo's glory, it will be Holland. But the Man City striker is returning to the field after being away for almost 20 days owing to a stress injury. The next few days will tell who will be the leading goal scorer this year. But for now, let's come back to Ronaldo and the goal scoring machine that he has become. That too at, at a not so nimble age of 38. Why do we say that? It's not easy to ignore Ronaldo. Well, he, undoubtedly, he is a football legend. He has a big off-field personality. And he's one of the biggest celebrities in the world. Tech giant Google has revealed that in their last 25 years, Cristiano Ronaldo was the most Googled athlete. Clearly, Ronaldo has one of the biggest fan following there is the world over. And they support him like they do no other. The most known instances were when Ronaldo's fans questioned FIFA. They said that the football's top body is biased against Ronaldo. This is because despite the phenomenal year that Ronaldo has had, he was not in the running for even a single football award. The Ballon d'Or was won by Lionel Messi, but Ronaldo was not even nominated. This is despite the fact that Ronaldo outscored everyone. Messi is not even in the top five. Same goes with the FIFA Footballer of the Year. Ronaldo's fans say that because the striker is no longer in Europe, he has been sidelined by FIFA. But maybe there's some truth to it. But despite all this, Ronaldo continues to grow in popularity. It has been evident by the love he gets when his team Al Nasser travels. In September, when Ronaldo was in Iran, his bus was swarmed by fans on foot. All the way from the airport, they were escorting his bus right up to his hotel. Clearly, he's more of a global footballer. On multiple occasions, Ronaldo has said that football has been too European and it needs to evolve. And when he made that move to Saudi Arabia, he was thinking about the game and the fans and to take the game out further. At least that's what he strongly believes. Well, what I, what I expect to achieve is to make people happy, to enjoy myself, to help the country to be better and better and better, not only uh, a football man, but always the, the feminine uh, football, which is the people don't know. I know the league is competitive. People, they don't know that, but the league is very competitive. And I want to make people happy. This is my goal. Now, he made his name in Europe. He's just building upon that in Saudi Arabia. And there have been multiple occasions when Ronaldo has supported football in Saudi Arabia. He says that the league has a lot of potential and will only continue to grow. It's not easy to win any games today because the teams, they are prepared. The football, it's different. The evolution of football is different. This is why I want to change. And to be honest, I really don't worry about what the people say. Uh, I took my decision. Ronaldo is very clear that he wants to continue playing in Saudi Arabia. And here's how big he really is in football. Following Ronaldo's footsteps, several footballers have left Europe's top clubs to play in the Saudi league. Striker Karim Benzema left Real Madrid to play for Al Ittihad. Former Chelsea defender Ingolo Kante has joined Benzema at Al Ittihad. Brazilian striker Neymar had a messy separation from PSG and then followed up to sign with Al Hilal. Ruben Neves left the Premier League and has joined Neymar at the same club. And joining Ronaldo himself at Al Nasser is winger Sadio Mane. Clearly, Ronaldo is a mountain in football. His impact is multifold. His one move has created a ripple effect. But what's more amazing is that he continues to play at peak form. It'll only be a matter of time before he gets back the recognition he truly deserves. But 
It also looks like Ronaldo has reached a point in his career where awards and trophies probably don't really matter that much to him. It's his love for football and the love he gets from his fans that really drives him. Now that is called attaining superstardom nirvana.